Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the most important certifications within GRC. Just a quick disclaimer, Bunny's a little bit tied up at the minute. My tree over there, she's getting a bit too wide and too big in case you notice the difference, but my Habibi's doing fine. Hopefully she'll survive the zip ties. But anyway, let's get into it. Now, cybersecurity is a highly competitive field. At the entry or junior level, there's a lot of people trying to get in and it's hard to set yourself apart and differentiate yourself what i will say certification are not the be all and end all you need good cv writing skills or have it professionally written you need to be able to market yourself look good when people look you up on linkedin or the social platforms it also helps if you're putting your knowledge out there in some sort of blogs or videos and it doesn't have to be public it can be something private you share with your employer so yeah i had no experience when i got in no degree and very little experience in it and i managed to get a job in cyber security what i will say is i got into a company that had a security team worked hard in my support role and then pivoted over by showing a lot of passion interest blogging cv writing updating trying to get mentoring from the team putting videos out on YouTube on the early parts of my career and learning online for free. So only when I actually got into cybersecurity, I pursued the paid certification route and that was paid for by my employer. But yeah, if you wanna know more about my tech story, watch my video on how I got into tech. I will link that in the description. But yeah, let's get into the certifications. Okay, just to scare everyone, you need to look at poor Jeremy's certification roadmap. It's crazy. Now these are all the different cybersecurity Security certifications, some are IT, but are in the industry. And if you just look at this on screen, it's just mad. There's so many certifications. 20, 30 years ago, this didn't exist. I will link this in the description. This is a good reference point to understand where certifications sit. And it's not always the case that the ones that are higher up are necessarily paid more. That can change. It's not like a hard and fast rule. But anyway, the first thing I will say, and one of the best certifications I think out right now in 2020 going into 2024 for new beginners is a CC by ISC squared. This is a great certification if you're starting out. It teaches you the fundamentals of cybersecurity. It has five domains going over the security principles, business continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response concepts, access control concepts, network security, and security operations. Now, this is completely free. Definitely check it out. If you're starting, this could be a quick and easy win. And also when you pass, you can become an associate of ISC c squared by paying like an annual fee of like 50 dollars and then that gives you access to a lot of learning courses and other things and you can decide on what certification to go for next but as a starting out certification this teaches you the round kind of concepts and some things you will need to understand what i will say is if you do get this i personally don't see this being a door opener you know this will help it will contribute but by itself put this on your cv no experience nothing else it's not going to open many doors for you however combine this with good cv marketing etc etc it will definitely help now the next certification i think is a very good one to start off with is c risk by isaka now c risk stands for certified in risk and information systems control that's a mouthful and it will teach you the fundamentals of risk management not even the fundamentals, it will give you a really good insight to be honest. Now, risk management is a core of GRC, literally in the middle, risk, just realized that. But it is so important and every job in security touches on risk, whether they know it or not. Generally, a great certification can open you the door for a lot of risk-based kind of entry roles. It's a lot of work to do, it's a great way to get into GRC. And from what I understand, I've looked through the content, I've spoke to people who've done this exam, I haven't done it personally, Personally, I've just kind of learned risk as I go and from other certifications because a lot of them always mention risk management in one capacity or another so I haven't felt the need to do this specifically but if I could go back this would be something I would have started with because I have had to spend a lot of time learning about risk management and it would have been worth to formalize that knowledge but yeah great certification definitely go for it the next one is one I have actually done and this was my first ever cybersecurity certification it is the CISA by Isaac so this is like the world renowned respected certification for audit audit and compliance and generally GRC now it's 
a beginner level, entry level type cert, but it's also very senior at the same time. It's a very weird certification because you see asked of like C cells and very high ups, but then you also see on the entry level. So depending when you take this in your career, it will have very different implications and your experience with it will be important, but it teaches you the best and most common framework for audit. And to be honest, goals above and beyond what you would do day to day in terms of audit documentation governance risk and compliance so it qualifies you for a lot of roles if you just type CESA into indeed you'll just see a bunch of results it's crazy how many people want this i think it was voted one of the top five I think it was second or third, if I'm not mistaken, certifications for 2023. So it's really important. I really think if you are in the GRC space, understanding audit, maybe even being an auditor and helping out with audits, whether you're leading one or just involved, it really is needed. And whether you're internal or external or whatever, it's a great way to get in. And I do think having CISA on its own, you know, with the right marketing and LinkedIn and whatever else and social media, media etc set up and good interview skills will get you a role on its own it's a powerful certification highly respected and i'm not just saying that because i have it but yeah if you want to see more about that watch my other videos i will link on how i passed and how it's benefited me after two years of having it now the next one is by isaka again and this is cism cism again this is like on level with CISA, if not better, more senior. It's highly sought after, highly respected. I've seen people get jobs at very senior places. So they've had like um, an IT role, they've got CISM and suddenly they're like their main person at very big institutions and organizations. And it's crazy how valuable it is. And it makes sense because when I spoke to those people about GRC, they're very knowledgeable. They understand the whole space, because of what they've learned through this certification. It teaches you so much. It's highly sought after and respected. I would put it almost on the same level as CISSP. Well, I would say CISSP is like the gold standard for cybersecurity, but I'd say CISM is like the gold standard for GRC because CISSP is a lot more technical than this is. And this just focuses on GRC and gives you that in-depth knowledge. When I've spoke to people about this and senior people, People, they all respect this certification they all go for it it's changed a lot of people's lives so i definitely think this is a good one to get early on and just learn as much as you can from it so yeah that's a top four certifications to get if you want to get into governance risk and compliance grc and cyber security i would get them in that order if you can so cc c risk CISA, cism these would be my recommendations however some of them can be quite expensive and it does cost a lot. So how can you get that same knowledge for free? Well, it's probably worth noting that all of these courses are available on YouTube in some way. So you can literally learn everything you need for the exam completely free and apply that knowledge, blog about it, talk about it, market yourself in that way of having gone through the content, just not sat the exam, you know, find practice questions online, free stuff, don't get any legal questions. But there is a lot of content just on YouTube. If you just search, you'll find four courses courses hours long and yeah you could get that information for free now that's one method another few notable certificates i do want to mention if you're starting out is the google Cybersecurity certificate i've not looked into this too much myself but i've heard a lot of great things about it from people in the industry i definitely think it's something that you should do if you're starting out google are pretty comprehensive and they cover a lot i know they've got a few certificates around social media marketing and data analysis and now cyber security they're all respected in their respective fields but if you're starting out it's a free course enroll why not try it out i would put this on the same level as the cc by ic squared where probably it alone won't get you a job but if you do the other things necessary it will another thing is a harvest university courses online i think it's a cs50 i'll put it up on screen but they've got like a full computer science course for free i think you can pay to get this certificate i don't know if it's a whole degree or one out of the three or four years or whatever but that's just great there's so much knowledge within that that you could take some of it might be more of a deep dive and a bit more technical there's a bunch of things on coursera youtube reddit even github i remember finding so many crazy grc repos on github yeah so there's resources 
resources everywhere if you really look. You know, you have to actually spend a bit of time. And this is a useful skill to have within cybersecurity and GRC. It's that research skill. If you want to learn something, try and find out where those resources might be. Now, if you've got the money or your employer is paying for it, there's a lot of expensive boot camps and other certifications that are very specific that also are very good. So yeah, that's another consideration. And one last thing I will say is another shout out to the GRC Analyst Masterclass by TCM Security. I've looked at an overview of the content. It looks great. Heath Adams and the TCM security team always do a great job. I've done their practical network ethical hacking cert on YouTube a few years ago. They used to put out a lot of content and I used that very early on in my career. So I will say that almost anything by them is really good i think you do have to pay a subscription fee but that's another thing you could try out i'm not sponsored by them i'm just throwing that in there so yeah a lot of resources if you've enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe it really does help with the channel and i will see you in the next one